that just so you can see the front straight away. Um, but the, you can see the green cones out there. That's the blend line in. I don't think, oh, you know what? I didn't do passing zones. The only pass allowed passing zones are on the front, is on the front straightaway. But all the instructors will have a radio. And there's only three cars on the track at a time, which just really hasn't been a problem um, because there's, you know, they're spaced out enough. But um, if you do get held up, you can pass on the right on the front straightaway. So you can see the orange apex cone for turn two. you're gonna to have to break for this turn into 2B to get in and we have a gate here again to keep you out but you want to dive into it so you don't uh, early apex this turn and this is leading on the back straight you got to break hard in the straight line for the turn in cone bend it in This is where you kind of can't see, so I talked about the tall cones in the distance. You see the cones on the left, you can see them. And then this is the braking zone, and you need to break at the three at the beginning of the braking zone. You're going to be going 25 miles an hour faster than this van in the Hellcat, right? Or in the uh, track hunk right there. This is, you know, 11% grade downhill. The cars do loosen up, you know, with this steep of a grade. So if you, you know, jerk the wheel or chop out of the throttle, you can get it to rotate uh, pretty aggressively just because of the grade. This is where this is just kind of a big series of turns tied together. We got to keep you out here to make sure you apex this one. And this is horsepower hill. This is the 14% grade uphill. If you dive into that cone on the left, you're going to want to start to get hauled down for the 180 by there. We try and hold you out, hold you out, hold you out, hold you out. If anybody wants to do any photography up here, the ESI guys can get you up on these ridges too. And then we head back down again. Back down for the last time. Again, we hold you out here to get you pointed down track. You want to be real smooth with the steering here and try and hold a constant arc. And this is the last turn where you break from, kind of like I said, kind of like Road America, where you break in a straight line to the turn and cone. you got to get it hauled down though because this is still very steep downhill and then roll in the throttle and get out of it. In the track hop you'll be going probably 95 or maybe 100 miles an hour right here and probably approaching 115, 120 miles an hour in the brake zone. But you do need to brake pretty or you do need to brake at the beginning of the brake zone. This is a little turn in cone. We're going to be we're going to be back here. This is this is a pretty awesome track, and it checks all the boxes, right? It's gorgeous.